All right, here we have a Jacobson R311T mower, turf equipment with a Kubota four cylinder diesel in it, and the exhaust gases are blown out. Let's get at it. So, the exhaust gaskets are blown out, and there's only a couple reasons for that. One, age. Um, this one has 2,000 hours on it. Two, the exhaust is restricted. So if you had, say, a car and your catalytic or something is plugged up, um, your engine's pushing air out, can't go anywhere to blow a gasket out, or it's just old. Or the exhaust manifold is warped because of heat and it twisted and let go and um, blew it out. So we're going to take this exhaust manifold off. We're gonna check it for trueness and just replace all the gaskets. I'm gonna start by removing your air side and then we'll move the exhaust off we'll take the turbo off we'll take the exhaust manifold off we'll check it for trueness and basically put it right back on again here we go i was only able to get this gasket and not this one but that's okay i need this taken away there's a bolt right here that holds this to the manifold and i was able to get that with a crow's foot you can get that bolt on there and then just swing that around now i can get to the bolt um, that holds the turbo to the exhaust manifold I got the other three loose, but this one's kind of hard to get at. You need to get rid of this housing to get access to this one so you can get at the last bolt that holds the manifold to the head. I took the feed line off the back there and I took the clamps off of the drain pipe. I should be able to pull it out this way. There we go. Lay that off to the side, inspect it, make sure that the bearings are good. Otherwise I have to call my buddy. Nick at Turbo Parts Canada. So we, we need a bigger choo-choo for this. Now I can get at that nut right there. And if you haven't noticed already, this is the best part of the job here. This here is legitimate license plate. Your license plate jammed in where the gasket blew out. <laughs> I love it. All right, you can check it for straightness on uh, if you got a straight edge. If not, a straight block. This this magnet I know is very straight, and you can stick feeler gauges underneath it. I wouldn't. I'd be more concerned anything over 10 thou difference. It is just an exhaust manifold. Um, I cleaned mine off on the belt sander. It straightened up nice and neat on both sides, and you can look at it visually too. Yet just look straight down, and perfectly straight. So cleaned up the turbo mount. Ready to go back on again, here we go. All right, it's got these cleaned up nice. If they don't clean up with the wire wheel around the studs, then you have to take the studs out, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, the gaskets are flat on one side and kind of rounded on the other, the rounder goes out. So usually there's more um, hoopla to clean off on the exhaust side itself. So those fit on nice, uh, one stud came out coolant does go behind there so keep that in mind that's what that is but pop those on and we're ready to throw the manifold back on again so nice point that up i think i think that's how it went all right so put your nuts back on snug it up and do two stages starting from the middle working your way out Go to 12 foot pounds and then go to 25 foot pounds. Um, and then same with these, about 25 foot pounds. These, about 25 foot pounds. Um, they're an M8 bolt and that should hold her together. It's more important to have it even than it is a couple pounds on or off, plus or minus. So here we go.
right there she is the nice Jacobson I, I've got an FL 128 and it's a real mower but I'm thinking this winter maybe I'll put decks on there because that worked pretty slick this thing is too big for my yard but uh, nice machine anyway from what I understand is that turf contracts have a specific contract engine wise with turf equipment so our Kubota dealer were not able to get the gaskets for that specific Kubota engine because it wasn't in any other piece of equipment that they sell tractor skid steers um, mini X's whatever so those gaskets had to come from England it took three weeks to get in and I'm sure that it was a lot more expensive than uh, something you can buy from the dealer or off the shelf if you guys know the, the story behind that or where to get gaskets for those specific engines um, comment down below for sure to try and save uh, people some money but otherwise quick nice fix and back on the road cutting grass again so lots more videos like this coming up here we go